would just give it for the tax break, but <laughs> I'm not going to do that. Um, oh, my God. Okay. God, the tax break? <laughs> Peak. I'm in a tax class now. I'm learning all about it. Yeah, <laughs> we can talk about it. <laughs> uh, but, all right. So, game one between yeah. Jules, the the wonderful, talented me brawler, and Coronet, the the, the all-star Greninja. I got to yes. think of, like, some modifiers to put in front of these people's names. Yeah, ever since uh, Ubi hasn't been here, Coronet yeah. has been, uh, I'm pretty sure, like, the uh, top Greninja in the area. Or at least mm -hmm. the one that comes to these locals. Yeah. Um, but Jewel's off to a pretty good start here, getting some of the combos. Mm -hmm. And Coronet getting some separate hits, but not able to really chain them all together. Ooh. One of the more interesting options I see from Brawler is that sometimes Jewel's will use the uh, the, thru the thrupper out of shield. Mm -hmm. I have no idea how big that hitbox is. It feels like it's really, really fast, so it gets you out of trouble. Mm -hmm. But when you're on the ledge, it doesn't have that much of her, uh, horizontal drift. So I feel like it's something that oh. can be really fun. But interesting there. I guess like after the up ended, didn't drift enough to the ledge and just didn't grab on. Yeah, maybe Cornet thought the magnet hands would save them and yeah. that uh, they were close enough anyway. But well, you can't, you know, you can't put two Norths together or two Souths together. You got to put one North, one South. Very true. Yes. All right. Oh, that sweet spot up smash is scary. Yeah, that was a good call out. Drop shield with the down tilt. Mm -hmm. The dilt, as I like to call it. It hasn't caught on, but it will one day. The dilt? The dilt. It I sounds can, too much like that. dilf, but it's fine. <laughs> oh, you know oh. what? I think it's okay. Yeah. But Cornet coming up with mm. the up airs. With the Walmart um, Zero Suit Samus down B. Um, got out of that combo. What's it actually called? Um, I have no idea what it's called. I just call it flip kick. Flip because kick, Because yeah. it's the same. I know Zero Sus is, is called flip kick. Yeah. And me, Brawlers, probably has a different name. Mm hmm But I call it flip kick yeah. because they're they're they're, they're pretty mm -hmm. much the same move. Yeah. But, but great Cornet got that like really nice swoopy pivot grab. Disadvantage. Yeah. Drop really the good. stage. Edgar. Ooh. I feel like could have lived that right with the di. Uh, maybe um, at 117 for Greninja that mm -hmm. high? I didn't see any uh, of those red kills things. So. Oh, there were no kill sparks? Yeah. Okay. So yeah, might have been able to DI. Maybe was holding in a bit. Mm -hmm. But either way, both of them on their last stock. Jewel's off to a slight lead. Yeah. But Coronet has found their opening. And the combos are out. The up airs, that's four now. Oh, wow. Did not land anywhere near there. Was it gonna cost him? Ooh. No, but. Jules waiting out the air even. dodge. Yeah. Not able to punish it. Just trying to read a platform landing or lack of tech. Both of them try and just mm. find the oh. kills off the top. And as I say that, Coronet finds the up smash. Finds the up smash. <laughs> yeah. And Cornet, even after that SD on their first stock, comes back and takes it. Those up smashes were killing early. Yeah. Too like sub like 110, I think, on both times when they killed. Yeah, I, I, that sweet spot. I feel like it, I feel like that, and um, I don't know if it's a sweet spot, but like the way it connects, you can fall out of it. It is a sweet spot. It reminds me of like Sheik up smash, where it's like there's that little window, but when it hits, it's like very fatal. But yeah. right now we're back on PS2 for game two. Curious to see what kind of uh, adaptions Jewel ha Jules has in the bag. Yeah. We are back on PS2. I think it's a good brawler stage. Brawler can definitely get those extensions on the platforms and get some of those really egregious early kills if you get, like, say, a down throw Ooh. on the platform. Because mm -hmm. then you're just so high in the air and the thrupper kills ridiculously early. Yeah. But Jules? Starting really good on this uh, game number two. Yeah. Oh. oh. That is going to cost you. Yeah. Like, you, were... you got the nearer perfect stock. Yeah. You know what? Sometimes it just happens. Yeah. You know what? You just got to shake it off. And Jules playing very composed, not trying to mm -hmm. rush in for the kill. Going out for some of these back airs. A coronet, making sure to stay in shield. Mm. 
forward there to send him off stage. And you can just see. Every time I see like me brawler have like throughout just aerials, I'm like always surprised at how big it is and how hard it hits. Back air? Just all the me brawler like aerials. I'm just like, oh, that hits. Like I can't even visualize the hitboxes, but I feel like they're much bigger than I think they are. That's true. I think forward air as a whole is also really big. Mm -hmm. And neutral air, as with like a lot of those types of neutral airs in the game, uh, are really disjointed, especially at the start of it. Yeah. So a strong hit. Um, so I can definitely see how that, like you can see that. But Jules is right back Ooh. in this, honestly, and now has yeah. the percent lead. SD oh, not phasing at all, reading the roll. The roll. Yeah, Jules was just standing at the perfect distance, finds the up smash, and Coronet once again off the, on the back foot. Beautiful use of the flip kick there, mm -hmm. using the kick at the end so it goes back inside. Very nice. Yeah. Green Ninja can recover. Ooh. Really nice air dodge on that. Let's go to yeah. ledge. A lot of times there are some characters that just get punished for that because their air dodge either doesn't last long enough or uh, they have too much drift. Yeah. Me Brawler is not one of those. Yeah. Ooh, that back air. Well, maybe if it's still X, it's been hit. But I think one more will probably kill Greninja. Ah! Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. You know, it doesn't go that high, so you get to the platform pretty fast. Mm -hmm. I'm really surprised that buffer didn't, like, he didn't die from the buffer, but he probably knows the timing much better than I would, because I don't play this character. <laughs> yeah. No, me Brawler, I feel like a lot of people call him, like, a budget fox. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, there are certain things that are just very different. Mm hmm Oh. And there's the back air. All right, Finally we got a set. set. We have so, another set. Yeah, well, this is, we have one. We're gonna go to game three. Yeah, folks. Do you think? Do you think they're gonna bring it to PS2 again? They're bringing it back. Uh, I think probably. Cornet was playing that pretty well anyway. Uh, outside of just getting caught in a few combos mm -hmm. and then. Um. And just getting caught at the ledge a lot. Yeah. That was the other thing. But yeah, we're right back to PS2. And the key for both of these characters is just who can find the opening first. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because once there's the opening, it's like just pretty ball tail on one end. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah. Both of them at these low percents, especially, can get a lot off of it. Mm hmm. We're going to see both of them just trading their starting combos. None of them getting too many big extensions, but the hits do add up. And one of the things about Jules' play that I really, really love to see is just how patient they play. Mm -hmm. Right? Like, you see every single time. He doesn't react instantly. He waits, um, usually at a reactable place, for whatever tech option yeah. that Coronet or really anyone wants to go for. And I think that's what part of what makes him like so threatening, right? Mm -hmm. Because if you throw out a move and you whiff punish, Jules will be there to do it. Yeah. Just like there with the back air. I think like even Tweak, like if, if you guys listen to Tweak talks in the chat, like Tweak will just, uh, the idea is like he'll try to go for like he knows something's gonna happen, or he like waits. I don't know. I'm not that good, but like I want to think that I know what he's talking about. I mean, just waiting in general is just a pretty strong option mm -hmm. for a lot of the characters, yeah. right? Um, in this game, so many characters uh, either have pretty good speed or have enough burst options mm -hmm. that you can either uh, set up yeah. or just stand just out of distance because 
Uh, not only do a lot of characters have good burst options, a lot of characters also have really good disjoints. There's a lot of good buttons in this game, is basically what I'm yeah. saying. So, waiting for your opponent to throw out a button first is advantageous in a lot of situations. Mm -hmm. I was curious if Coronet was going for, like, some weird, uh, like, the water gun, like, movement to get Jules to not recover correctly. I love when I see that. Yeah. Um, playing a teleport character, I definitely don't like being on the receiving end. Mm -hmm. But I love watching when it happens to other people. Yeah. <laughs> yeah ah! Just like that. Just like that. Yeah, beautiful edge guard using the up B yeah. from Greninja. It's like, you know, you're edge guarding, but you're not hitting, you know. I if anything, I'm a pacifist, so I enjoyed that. Cornet. Cornet with the large percent deficit here. Trying to use these shurikens Ooh. to get something started, but instead, again, the roll gets caught out by the up smash. Yeah, just like last game, I guess, like, maybe Jules knows that, like, the panic option is to roll at ledge when at high percents. And he's definitely taking advantage of it. Good wait on the air dodge there. The me brawler just like down throw anything confirms at like all these intricate percents are really fun to watch. Yeah. Oh, I like that 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 ball. Yeah, shot put is a really great move. It's sometimes like a lot of times I feel like, oh, you use it because oh it's a projectile, right? And you, me brawler just like doesn't have anything really better on the neutral B outside of a, a strong kill move. Yeah. That's really hard to ooh. land. Is that a down smash? That was a down smash. Covering the rolls and ooh. I don't know if Jules could have made that back anyway, but yeah. good job sealing out the edge guard from Coronet. But yeah, it, it's just like one back air. That will yep. Really good recoveries to avoid the shot puts, but yeah, the back air, like back you were air. saying. And that is the uh, the second set in a row with a reverse.